Hello, and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 15. I just picked up the truck from getting uh, some work done, inner tie rod replacement, and an alignment done. I told you guys I'm trying to take care of this truck as much as possible. They got it done so quickly for me too, I'm so happy with it. I've not yet eaten any food, and I'm about to do something I shouldn't do, but I'm going to anyways. I'm gonna indulge a little bit. Let's go get some McDonald's. Yeah. I was going to finish the two boxes that I started yesterday with the hand painting, but I need to kind of let it sit and marinate because I've liked what I've done, which is the entire design on the top, but I kind of like how I did the dotting on just the outline on the sides. So I can't decide if I want to leave that or if I want to fill it in. Hmm. I kind of like the, the contrast and the negative space but I can't decide if it looks half done. So you'll have to let me know in the comments if I should do the full thing with the detailing or if I should just leave it as it is. Can't decide, so please tell me your thoughts. In the meantime, I could clean some of the smalls that we've picked up recently, but I've been waiting to do these little footstools for forever. And it's what we were supposed to do yesterday. So I kind of want to do them today. It won't take very long. It should be fairly quick but I say that about everything that I start and it never goes that way. I have four footstools here and I'll show them to you. They're all different sizes and styles. Here's one, cute little guy. I, I thought this was, I thought he was cute. I picked him up, I liked him. Another, I really liked the feet and the patina on the feet on this one. It's the biggest as well. And then this piece. And this one's a little different. So you have the feet, right? But this guy actually just like pops right up. I don't want to do anything to the frame parts. I want to keep any part of the wood just as is. I just want to replace some of the fabric. What I plan on using is from my fabric sash and it's all these rug scraps that I've hoarded over the years from making rug pillows or doing other upholstery jobs. I've kept <laughs> I've kept what I could. I know there's some scraps in here that will fit these pieces, so I definitely want to use a few of these. And I have other fabric as well, so if any of this is too small for any of these, we'll, we'll consult the fabric stash again. First thing we gotta do is take all of the old fabric off. all the fabrics off staples are out what i'm going to do now for this particular one is i'm actually going to put a protective coat on the legs because the old finish is kind of chippy and coming off i like that but i want to seal that in so it doesn't happen anymore and while that's drying we'll start stapling the new fabric on the other cushions So I'm looking at this one and it actually needs 
some wood glue right here at the seam. So I'm gonna add wood glue to that one too. So from what I have, this piece is definitely big enough for one of them. I have this piece, which uh, we might get lucky with, but we're gonna try to make this work and we'll go from there. Let me show you where I'm at. You saw me complete this piece, which I'm super happy with. I think it's really cute. I got the top piece done for the one that's being glued. So we're gonna let that sit overnight. And then I just finished this piece, which I did find another little rug uh, cut that has purple in it. So I wasn't a huge fan, but I really love the rest of the colors. The only other thing I'm gonna do to this is I have some tacks that I'm going to put around this to cover up the staples around the feet. And then I think I'm gonna put a dust cover on the bottom of this too to cover up those unfinished edges. So with the same fabric, I am actually gonna do this stool tomorrow because I have a little party that I need to go to and I am coming close on the time that I need to be there. So we are gonna leave this project until tomorrow. I really like upholstery. It's probably the most satisfying makeover ever, and I am in such a good mood after doing this. I love these pieces. I think they look great. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you think I need to do the hand paint design all around the trunk versus just the dots. I'm very torn, so I need you guys to give me your opinions on that. We are gonna finish these stools tomorrow, and we're gonna do some cleaning and some pricing. We're just gonna wrap up a bunch of little projects and things that we need to get done to get stuff over to the booth for this weekend. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe. Also hit the bell notification, that way you can be notified for whenever I post a new video. And please follow me at Amanda's Mercantile on Instagram, that way you can see anything that I do behind the scenes. I'll see y'all tomorrow, bye. So I love upholstery, but look at the mess that it makes. It just, so messy. All over.